Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll show you two quick and easy ways that you can paint stone. This is gonna be a quick video, but if you prefer something a bit more long form, then check out my How to Paint Sigma the Head statue, which goes into a lot more detail about these techniques. Okay, let's get started and here's our Sigmar's Fallen Head statue from Warcry and this has been primed with the Army Painter Necrotic Flesh Spray. Let's paint the grey stone first using Contrast Basilicanum Grey Paint. Give it a really good shape. This is really important for all the different paints. And then we're just gonna simply put a nice thick coat all over the entire head of piece of this model. And you wanna be quite generous with the paint here. So I'm just using an old brush, but it's really big. And the bristles are nice and soft. And this is gonna give me nice even strokes and allow me to put a nice amount of paint over the whole model quite quickly. And I, I tend to start and in my brush strokes where I want most of that paint to build up in those recesses. And then you can just push and pull the contrast paint around until you've got a nice even coat across the model. And on bits like this ear, I'm putting more paint on my brush and really pushing it into those recesses. That's going to give us a little bit of shadow. We'll be doing some more things with some shade later on to get those shadows a little bit darker, but it's really good to make the most of the contrast paint here. And the same for this headpiece, really work it in and then move on to the other areas of the face, giving it a nice even coat where you've got the eyes and those recesses and cracks. We want more paint there, so just be a little bit more generous. Then we're gonna take Contrast Militarum Green, and this is gonna be for all the masonry that's fallen around the head statue. So this is the second type of stonework that you can paint. So we're gonna start with this nice base of Militarum Green, and this is the recipe I've used for all the ruined terrain for Warcry. And so once you've covered that, we're gonna let both of these dry completely before moving on to the next stage. The next stage is to take some null oil shade and this is just for the gray part, the gray stone. And this is just gonna really enrich in those deep dark recesses. And this is gonna go into all those cracks and give us a nice darker tone to the whole piece. And then we're gonna take some Rakarth flesh and we're gonna do some dry brushing. So I load my brush up and then use some card to get that uh, paint into the bristles and then work off as much paint as I can uh, on the card before moving on to the stonework. And it's really important this is completely dry before you do any of this dry brushing. And now I'm just gonna go gently at first so I know how much paint's coming off the brush and then just increasing that all over the model. Then we're gonna do the same with the Shabti bone and this is gonna give us our main highlight. And here, again, I'm just trying to pick out the most raised areas and this is really gonna give us a nice highlight and do that over all the green masonry. Then we're gonna take some sky gray and we're gonna do the same dry brushing technique on the gray stone now for the head statue. And the same thing, go gentle at first so you know how much paint's coming off your brush. Make sure you've got a nice soft brush like this and then work that all over the model, really picking out all that nice texture. And these models are perfect for this technique. And there we go, there's the finished Sigma head statue from Warcry, all painted really quickly and easy with some contrast paints and a bit of dry brushing. And such a simple technique to do, the contrast paint with that shade over the top really gets the gray stone looking awesome. And I really like the effect you can get from the Militarum green. And then this is the finished piece that is combined with some wood effects. And if you'd like to see how that's painted, I've done another quick and easy video to show you how to paint the wood. But again, watch that longer video if you prefer something that's a little bit long form, a little bit more chilled and goes into a lot more detail, almost in real time. I'll put a list of all the paints used in this video in the description below, and there'll be affiliate links to Element Games, but they won't cost you anything extra. In fact, you can save up to 20% there on all your game products, and for any sale made through that link, I get a small commission, and that helps me do loads more videos like this. So thanks so much for that support. It's really great. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description and it'll be great to see you there. I hope you found this video helpful. Really quick, easy techniques that I think anyone can do. And using those contrast paints and dry brushing get some great effects. But thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it. Subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.